This young man's name is Matt. Matt is a below-average human being who has nothing special going for him. His grades at school are ridiculously atrocious, and instead of doing anything about them, he just cries about it for the whole day. While we have better things for Matt to be researching, he instead chooses to flood himself with positivity that doesn't help him in the long run. Sad thing is, he actually believes that is enough. Please, whatever you do in life, don't be like Matt. Positivity kinda sucks. Smoking awoken, I'm sipping on potions, evoking emotions that cause you to move. I don't even need to see a movement. Once you hear my voice on a beat, you're probably moving. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out the rest of the videos. Hopefully that can convince you to do the prior mentioned three things. But today we're going to be talking about positivity. Is it becoming a bit too toxic for this world right now? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. <laughs> Let's get into the discussion. So personally speaking, I kind of have a problem with how positivity has become today and I've had an experience with it in the past kind of that has made me question the whole self-help kind of um rhetoric that exists out there you know out in the world out in the universe right about now positivity is kind of on a downhill if you if you check it out because we we we're kind of disillusioning people from the reality of life and taking them away from certain understandings and perspectives about, well, you know, what's actually happening. So I have a story to share. Um, back in 2016, I was a part of a youth group and we had to do this performance at the university where I'm actually at right now. So they had a career day. So what happened with all of that is that we had to perform, and I, I wrote this piece called Cost of Words. It was actually a three-part performance between myself and two other writers. But my piece was there to challenge the youth present. Um, are you about to become silent in this career simply because they can pay you enough money? What if you had to purchase, you know, words? Would your career pay for you to speak? Is it that you would now bring a voice forward for those people who are not fortunate to receive an education or even, you know, so stuff like that. It was really, <laughs> I I'd admit, for, for me now starting to actually write spoken word, it was a really well thought out piece. And sometimes I, I see it and it's like, wow, when are you going to achieve that again? However, upon doing that and having the attention of so many youth and now bringing them to a center where they have to talk, Hair comes on, a part of the whole group, our, well, kind of president, leader of the group, puts out a Prince Ia spoken word video. Now, if you've never encountered Prince Ia, he is an artist, I would say. Definitely, he, I give him all respect in, in what he publishes. However, his work could be a bit misleading in the sense that it's kind of just muddled in positivity and don't do this and, you know, you should do this and keep dreaming and don't make no one stop you and anyone who tells you otherwise is you're not your friend. And I hate it. Like, <laughs> it doesn't give a realistic approach to what we are actually facing in this world. Even when we look at situations with COVID-19, no one knew 2020 was going to turn out like this. However, we should have or could have seen certain outcomes from COVID-19, such as the rich businesses not really caring about anyone, um, governments, of course, failing to do their duties to the best protect the people. Thank God I live in a country where we, we did a lot. We did enough, at least, for what resources we have, and we have no COVID cases in our farm. But, yeah, it's, it, it, it's a potential risk if we bring in people. However, that's not the focus of this video. What I'm trying to say is that when we look at how positivity has been molded over the years, it's 
to a point becoming toxic because I can scroll through my news feed and see my friends sharing posts that just speak about keeping your head high and um, living your best life and um, drinking enough water. And then you're probably wondering, Brandon, what the hell are you talking about? This is kind of your channel. Are you losing it? <laughs> what message are you trying to send? You see, with this self-development channel, I don't even see myself as a positive youth. I kind of cringe at that whole thing. Obviously, I'd be speaking things that are supposed to encourage and move you forward, I guess. However, I've never seen myself solely wanting to be a positive youth. I can say that I am a vocal youth. I am someone who sees something and I want to speak about it. I want to bring a different dynamic. And I don't want to be Matt. Matt is going to just sit down there forever and exist in this crisis of constantly feeding himself uh, a dopamine rush of a disillusioned um, perspective on reality. And that's kind of what's happening with a lot of the positivity that we see these days. I actually had a discussion once and, you know, the person said to me, but positivity is working for some of these people. It moves them, you know, certain people, they need that morning motivational story. They need to see that um, even though things are not good now, trust and believe and pray and things will get better. And that's great. And I support that for who it works. Yeah, let it work. But eventually there will be a crash that comes. That's a reality we can't deny. Where those memes, where those posts and where those... Um, Denzel Washington inspirational speeches cannot pull through for you. It's that simple. And I mean, in that same logic, pressure tablets work. Um, pills for, you know, different diseases or disease prevention work. But you know what also works? Keeping your body in shape and accepting the fact that Right about now, you have an unhealthy way of living. All of these things work. What outcome do you want to teach people that they can just prescribe to a pill forever and that's okay and they don't have to address the elephant in the room, which is themselves? So to me now, I think definitely we have a responsibility to show people who are coming up, you know, directly behind us, that despite how much positive aspects you can put into your mind, you need to understand that the world is not as the memes portray it to be. In fact, I have reached a point where I don't really 100% agree with positive or negative energy. I, I, I understand the concepts of positive and negative. However, I believe you have energy. What you do with that energy is the result. But I don't think that necessarily there's a way to channel positive or negative um, energy. There are negative and positive elements that can influence your energy. But at the end of the day, what you decide to do with it, that is your power. And not just sitting down and looking at people who have made it and have no understanding. They will never have an understanding of your life, your situation, your circumstances, your financial um, assets, the amount of liabilities that you would have inherited, your race, color, skin. All of these are aspects that they probably don't understand. Race, color, skin is the same thing, Brandon. Damn it. But the point is that what we have to stop doing now is that, you know, we're so afraid of pondering on the negative that people are now disillusioned with results. Everyone assumes that by filling themselves with that positive aspect of life and loving life and waking up every morning and drinking this tea or reading this book and doing this mantra in the mirror and telling yourself that you're wonderful and that works, I guess that works for whoever it does, it's, there's more to it. You can meditate on the negative things of life and it's okay for you to understand that things are going to go wrong. What matters is how you respond to things when they do go wrong. So this was a bit of a ranty video um, this week, but if I had to give you one lesson from this personal um, 
self-development journey and journal entry, whatever we want to call these videos, is that you, while yes, you can fill yourself with positive attributes and everything like that, you're still almost destined for failure depending on how you use your energy. So use your energy wisely. Become much more in tune with what your situation is. And I'll guarantee you, I can guarantee you, you'll be seeing much better strides in whatever you take on by understanding you can fail. So that's it for today, guys. I mean, I didn't want to come off as a hater on Prince Ia. I mean, there are some pieces that, you know, I, 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 I can appreciate from him. However, I don't think that the self help industry has much people's best interests at heart and that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video leave a like comment subscribe and of course we'll see next week we'll see sunday we could see even after this video because i'm sure if you're new to the channel you probably or if you're not you probably missed something go check it out and leave the love big up yourself and we'll see once again